This park has really come to represent the positive change that has happened in this community. It might not seem like much, but one man I spoke to today mentioned just how special it is to hear the sounds of kids playing basketball here in the park because it hasn't always been safe enough here to do that. Folks who live here are crediting the efforts of the 10 Point Coalition, getting involved in the community, walking the streets at night to try and encourage people to find a path that doesn't involve crime. So far, it has been working here in Butler, Tarkington, but across the city, violence is still a big problem. Friday night, 15-year-old Kevin Rainey was murdered on the city's east side in a community near 38th Street and Post Road. People who live nearby have reached out to the Ten Points Coalition asking for help to try and make a change. We're trying to say to them, if we can help bring people to the table, but they are going to have to rally their neighborhoods around this issue of uh, reducing violence and, and putting young people on the pathway of success. I lost my son two years ago, 2015. Uh, he was murdered. And uh, so I understand the challenges these young men have. I understand the challenges the families have. So I've, I've dedicated myself, not just when I'm not working, to seeing how I can help improve the neighborhood. Reverend Harrison told me there are three communities across the city that are working right now to implement the 10 points coalition strategy in their neighborhoods. And that's what it takes. Reverend Harrison said the folks who live in these communities have to decide that it's time to make a change. We're reporting live in Indianapolis. Graham Hunter, RTV six.